Hey guys, I'm back to talk to you about why it could actually be a good thing if you're not going to Glastonbury. But first, you must subscribe. Going to Glastonbury has more or less been considered one of the social pinnacles of your young, live music loving, beer drinking life. If you go in, you are one of the cool people. But you're also one of those people who registered for tickets all those months ago, back in October. There are, however, many drawbacks to going to Glastonbury. Take the multiple crates of beer you've bought. The old party poopers at First Great Western have said that space is limited on their trains, so be warned, you're not allowed to take your stuff in wheelie bins, shopping trolleys or wheelbarrows. It could also soon be time for Glastonbury to find a new home. Festival founder Michael Evis is worried that the land might not always be available, as he only owns the middle bit, and that's where the pyramid stage is. And if you're not going to Glastonbury it means that you'll be able to see all the bands still but on your telly while sitting on the sofa instead of from your mate's shoulders. Which brings us on to the next point, obstruction of the stage. People on other people's shoulders, people filming the entire thing on their phones and of course selfies. From tennis matches to festivals, selfie sticks have had a bit of a cull recently. The O2 and Coachella have both banned them. Glastonbury, however, will not be banning selfie sticks. They will assess, though, how they go down. Liberal, yes, but not that fair on the people who have got to watch through other people's iPhones. Also, what's with the Glastonbury boars that tell you how great it was in 83 and it's not like it used to be? Technically, yeah, it's not like it used to be. These days, we've got Kanye West. Yet for the star with a history of storming off and on various stages, there is a petition to remove him from his headline slot. All of this considered, we're just saying, and we're probably also a little bit jealous of those of you that are going. So, are you going? Is Glastonbury for you? Do you agree with us? Or do you think we're just being wrong and miserable? Let us know and make sure that you subscribe.